Wizards of the Coast made a big announcement yesterday about the future of set and draft boosters. Let's talk about it. We've known our draft boosters and set boosters for a while now. The set boosters have been around since 2020. And of course, since for the last 15 years, since October 2008, we are used to having our draft boosters. But what ha what's happening? They're go both going away and becoming one, the new play booster. So what is a play booster? A play booster is a brand new draftable type pack that is gonna include up to four rare slash mythics, and it will include a guaranteed foil and will possibly include uh, a list card. So what's gonna be included in this play booster? It's gonna include one to six commons, either a list or a different common, three uncommons, one rare slash mythic rare, one basic land, one non-foil wild card, and one foil wild card, which could be a common, uncommon, basic land, or even a rare or mythic rare. And then it'll also include either an add, a token, helper, or an art card. So what's gonna be the differences between a play booster and a set booster? There's gonna be two more limited playable cards in each pack. Common and uncommons aren't connected with a theme appropriate to the set. One fewer non-foil wild card, one fewer non-playable object, i.e. tokens or art cards and only a 33% chance in opening an art card as a set booster where it was guaranteed as such. And the differences between a play booster and a draft booster is significant. Play boosters offer the potential to open up to four rare or mythics instead of only two chances in a draft where you would get a rare slash mythic slot and a possible extra foil card. One fewer playing a playable card three fewer commons, and an added non-foil wild card and traditional foil wild card slot. A one in eight chance of a card from the list and a 33% chance of an R card. Overall, a play booster is gonna be a significant step up from a draft booster, but uh, you're also gonna be paying a little bit extra for that pack. So your draft prices are gonna go up a little bit, probably by about 15 to 20%. So this big change is going to be happening at the uh, end of February 2024 at the release of Murders at Karlov Manor. And the other big change this is going to happen is they're going to go from 30 booster pack, boosters from a set booster box up to 36. So it'll be the same as a, a draft booster box. And thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please take the time to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated. Have a great day and keep them rolling.